What's up guys, it's Phil, and it is time for another update. So it has been about a month uh, since Thanksgiving, which means it's pretty much Christmas at this point. Uh, I have not recorded anything because after that crazy, crazy Thanksgiving push that I did, I got to Florida, decided to relax, turn my phone off, and set an away message, and decided to check those messages halfway through. And turns out just about everybody and their brother thinks that their work is going to be done by Christmas. So I went ahead and got my calendar and double checked who had paid deposits and when and just put people in the order that they were supposed to be. So I still have one little round coffee table that I should be doing that it is it's going to be three months behind by the time I'm done with it. But other than that, I've got a lot of built-ins that need to be done and so I scheduled everybody accordingly and made that work pretty well. So literally all I've done is built-ins. I did this one first, which was a pretty simple project. The customer already had most of the supplies, so I just went ahead and got the rest of the supplies and finished building it for them. Had my painter come out, turned out pretty awesome. In the photos, I don't think it had any uh, knobs on it, but I went back and replaced those uh, later on after the paint had dried a little bit. The next one I actually just finished up tonight. Uh, it was a very large built-in that was around uh, a fireplace. It turned out really, really awesome. These people were super happy with it and some laundry room shelves for them as well. Now I'm working on a large built-in that's extremely large. It's like 16 and a half feet long, nine feet tall. Uh, it's got a lot of hardware and stuff. It's, it's, it's a cool piece. Plus I'm doing a laundry room built in, some extra doors, and fixing the backing on their kitchen island. And that is a pretty large scope. Uh, plus she ordered a bunch of stools and chairs and a dining table uh, with a red oak top. So I'm trying to get a hold of the red oak from my supplier and get that built, get that done for them. That's probably not gonna be done by Christmas, but the rest of her projects are, so uh, that's what I'm currently working on. So that is really it, guys. Uh, like I've said every other time, I'm gonna try to keep this update short, uh, but one of the first things I do wanna talk to you about before you go anywhere else is this. So this jacket that I'm wearing is super cool. Um, it's, it's a large, so it's a little big on me, but I don't like the restriction of wearing a medium. But check this out. So this thing is heated in the chest, it's heated in the back, and also this little button makes it heated in the pockets. So I can actually wear this thing when it's really cold out and it keeps me pretty warm. Now I'm testing it out right now um, and it's pretty awesome. It is, it is actually working uh, pretty well right now. When I'm outside, I could probably layer up a little bit more underneath it, but it, it does have a soft shell, so it's a windbreaker. It's waterproof, which is really nice. I wish I had had this for Dickens. Um, Dickens of a Christmas was a total failure for me. I went out there, set everything up, and then it snowed uh, and sleeted the night before the show was supposed to start, so I had two inches of just ice on top of my uh, tables when I got back out there. My tent is way too small to be dealing with that kind of rain and the fire marshal told me that the heater that I've been using for the past three shows I've been at suddenly I'm not allowed to use anymore because it has to be 40 inches away from all of your tents and since I don't have you know four feet between me and the person next to me and my tent it's just ridiculous. So I couldn't use my heater I was dying. I was underprepared. I was prepared for cold. I was not prepared for cold and wet because uh, it continued to rain the entire weekend. So I wound up just leaving a bunch of business cards and one of my part-time guys there who owns a laser cutting business. I let him sell a bunch of his laser cut stuff and hand out my business cards and I just jetted out of there. But this would have been really nice to have. So I went ahead and bought one because he's got one, his wife has one, and they were out there all day and had no complaints. Every day he's out here working, I'm in three coats, he's in just this, and he loves it. So I went ahead and bought myself one. I recommend you do too. Check out my links in the description. I've got a link to Amazon where you can pick this up. I'm going to try to list the one for $229. It's a full kit that has the jacket. It also has uh, the charger and one battery, and all of that comes in gray for $229 or in red camo or black for $2.99. So if that link is still active, I'll post it here. Other than that, I'll just post the regular link, which is typically around $2.99 for the kit. Um, but it is awesome. It's well, well worth it. I highly recommend it. Click on that link, help support these videos, help support my channel, and just help support me. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get inside. I'm just out here plugging in batteries and cleaning stuff up, getting my trailer ready for tomorrow so I can finish uh, getting the large built-in pieces and stuff I just talked to you about ready for paint and get started on yet another built-in uh, before this week is over. So got a lot to do there, uh, but I am tired and I am cold. Well, I'm not really that cold anymore because of this thing, but... Uh, other than that, I am just done for the day. So I'm going to go inside, but I wanted to go ahead and get this update started because um, if I didn't start it, it would be January before I actually did another update. Christmas Eve morning. It is cold AF in my shop. We had a hard freeze last night. Everything is frozen. There's ice on everything. I couldn't even get the door open to my shop because it happened to be wet and then it froze. So I had to literally kick the door till the ice broke. But I'm in here now. I got a fire going. I'm freezing. My face is cold. Everything's cold. But uh, I'm about to get started, get a couple of doors and stuff made before we get into the family festivities today. So I'm going to go ahead and get on those. I've also got a skateboard to work on, which is pretty cool. Let me show you that. So this thing is super cool. You guys have probably seen the other ones that I made just like it. Um, it's got pink automotive metal flake in clear resin, and I poured that into all these holes in this wormy cherry. Um, so I'm going to get this thing planed down and clean it up a little bit and make it into a skateboard and someone's actually going to get it for Christmas.
And just like that, I'm done. I got all of those projects done. Most of those were Christmas projects, but some of those start dates and deadlines were like real close to or just after New Year's, which was pretty awesome. Uh, so it's like the second week in January right now, and I was just able to get those done. So it's a nice, rainy, cold Saturday here in Tennessee, so I'm going to do nothing uh, today. As you can see behind me, I've got, uh, I'm right in the middle of my shop revamp. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you've seen where I've done my assembly table and I'm working on my miter saw station right here here, excuse me, messed that up, little jump cut there. Um, but I'm working on this new miter saw station and cabinet. I'm going to be doing some cabinets over there for some of the smaller tools and just getting everything kind of revamped and feng shui'd in here so that I can actually do a little bit more work and finally be organized for once in like three years. Hey, check out the rest of my videos. I've got a lot of cool cheap and easy DIYs plus some tips and tricks for the semi-professionals down to the amateurs and I've got some really cool tool reviews for a couple of the tools and some of the hacks that I've done here in the shop. So definitely check out some of those playlists. Please, 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 please share these videos if you like them that way people can know what you like to watch and they can get to like them too make sure that you subscribe to me help me get above that 2500 subscriber mark that would be super super awesome and I'm gonna do a giveaway as soon as I'm getting close to that so pay attention speaking of giveaways turn on your notifications that way you'll know when I'm posting those new DIY videos and when I post my new giveaway video for 2500 subscribers it's gonna be a doozy you're gonna like it anyway guys thanks for watching all the other stuff YouTube content creators are supposed to say because we're all doing the same thing and trying to get you to support us oh wait one more thing if you do want to support this channel go ahead and click on those Amazon affiliate links at the bottom I know I talked about it in the beginning of this video but seriously those Amazon affiliate links are really the only thing financially supporting this channel right now and it takes nothing from you it's things that you already need like the tools you see in these videos and you think oh hey I'd love to have that driver I'd love to get some glue I'd love to have Amazon drop it off on my doorway hey great go for it it's some of the best prices on the internet anyway and they drop it off at your house so go ahead and click on one of my links that helps support this channel literally so you will actually be supporting me and then I can go out and I can buy supplies to do giveaways and DIY videos for you guys. So anyway, I've rambled on for a long time, but thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, smash button, and whatever else, and we'll see you next time.